So what's a fight stick, and do you really need one? Before you commit to buying, I'll explain what one actually is, and I'll offer you some questions to help you narrow down your search. What's a fight stick? It's a controller reminiscent of the controls used in an arcade cabinet, generally featuring a joystick and multiple buttons. Fight sticks, sometimes called arcade sticks, are usually played on a lap, while some are heavy and large enough to warrant a table or platform underneath them. And because of weight, dimensions, and tradition, some models are even played on the floor. Using one over a standard console controller won't magically up your game, and they are largely preference and about what feels right. They are most associated with fighting games, but they can also be used for traditional smups, run and guns, bullet hells, beat em ups, and classic arcade titles. At their simplest, a fight stick requires an enclosure, buttons, a joystick, a PCB, and a wiring harness to connect everything. Additionally, a close cousin of the fight stick, the all button controller, which doesn't utilize a joystick at all, is becoming more and more commonplace in the FGC. So now that you know more about what they are, here are a few questions to consider before committing to buy one for yourself. Is a fight stick actually the best option for you? Fight sticks are just one option, and there are strong competitors in each game who play with other types of controller. All button controllers like hitboxes, micros, impresses, and DIY variants are all the rage right now, but there are also WASD and arrow key layouts like the Mixbox and the drop-in Odins. Still, some of the best players in the world just use a standard controller or pad, and then there are some people who use even weirder alternatives. Joysticks, all buttons, and various combinations are all possible. The first big hurdle is deciding which type of fight stick or variant appeals most to you. What is your budget? A quality fight stick is an investment, and the cost to obtain one can be fairly high, especially if you're wanting custom layouts or less common parts. But even the bottom dollar entry sticks like the Drone and Mayflash start around $80, and many of the stock ones that I'd actually recommend clock in around that $150 to $200 area. If you've got $300 or more to spend, you can get higher end or custom models. A saving grace of the fight stick price point is that most sticks hold their value to some extent, so you wouldn't be losing an arm and a leg if you had to unload it. Still, after figuring out a budget, I recommend checking on Craigslist or your local scene first to potentially grab one second hand to get more bang for your buck. What systems do you want to be able to play on? Does it have to play on a Switch? A Dreamcast? Would it be nice to be compatible with a PS5? The PC can play nearly anything, but consoles are a different story. Be sure to check the model to see that it's compatible with what you want. There are fewer options on certain systems. Xbox, for instance, doesn't have quite the same number of offerings as its PS4 counterpart. Still, if you find a stick that you love, which won't work with a required system, you could always replace the PCB, but that may not be an ideal solution. Another option would be a Brook adapter to net you access to a specific system. There are several different versions, so there is usually a support solution there somewhere. What button layout is ideal for you? If you're unsure of which is the most comfortable and ergonomic for yourself, see if you can demo some at your locals. Used game shops, arcades, land centers, and pawn shops are also possibilities. I'll leave a link to Slagcoin in the description, and that site has a ton of the various layouts and their exact measurements. Let me say that Vulix is pretty standard, and I enjoy it just fine, but my current favorites are probably Astro City Player 2 and Noir, for what it's worth. How many buttons do you need? It depends on your game of choice. Atypical layouts can be filled with buttons, but most fight sticks have 6 to 8 face buttons. Some can even have fewer, especially if you're going with older arcade titles with emulation. Very few old games actually make use of a full set of 8. If you're using a lever, what kind do you prefer? Generally this will be Korean, like Fanta or Crown, or Japanese like Sanwa or Samitsu, or American, like HAP or IL. Most sticks will use Sanwa or Sanwa clones. If you're not sure, then a good rule of thumb is that Korea style levers are more typically used for 3D fighting games, whereas the Japanese style levers are often preferred for 2D fighting games. So if you know you're going to be playing more Tekken than Killer Instinct, you may want to go with a Korean lever. How moddable do you want things to be? This isn't just important for upgrades, but it's also important for repairs. Look at the internals of the stick and how the maker designed access to them. 
Are you patient enough to log the time needed to get to a proficient level with one? If you've never used one before, or have pretty minimal arcade experience, it can take two weeks or longer to start feeling confident in your execution. Like anything else, purposeful practice makes learning the ins and outs of a fight stick faster. Some people pick it up straight away, while others can struggle for a longer time getting their inputs to be clean and consistent. After making the investment, I would recommend sticking it out for at least a month. So now that you've answered all these questions and you have a better idea of what you want, here comes perhaps the most important one. Where can you get a stock over-the-counter fight stick or the parts to build your own? Check locally first to see what your area game stores have in stock or even if you can score a sweet secondhand deal from someone who didn't watch this video. But if locals aren't an option, then we can go online. If you're okay with used, you can go through eBay. Amazon usually offers sticks as well, but for what it's worth, I try to avoid ordering any parts from Amazon if I can help it, because I've seen too many horror stories about knockoff parts being sold as legit. If you're in the US and would like to buy new, then Focus Attack, Paradise Arcade, and Arcade Shock are some of the big players in this scene. You can also check the brand of the stick you're using to see if they offer it directly, like Quamba, Victrix, and Itoki. Also, if you time your purchase around certain fighting game tournaments, there will often be discount codes which can be applied for a limited time. If none of these sites have what you're after, now that you've done your due diligence, you're left with arguably the most fun option, the full custom build. They are fairly easy to put together, and I can walk you through that process in another video. Do you still need help with a specific question I didn't address here? Would you like a personalized recommendation from a Fightstick community member? Then check out the R Fightstick subreddit and Discord. I'll leave links in the description for both. Good luck with your Fightstick. I think they're a blast to play on. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.